We could be just days away from a third COVID-19 vaccine. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. I'm Marcella Lee in for Barbara Lee Edwards. Dr. Anthony Fauci says he expects Johnson & Johnson to apply for emergency youth authorization from the FDA in just the coming days. As News 8's Brandon Lewis reports, that could bring that third vaccine as early as next month. Carlo and Marcella, medical experts think this could be a game changer if it's approved by the FDA. That's because it could simplify and speed up the process. The phase three trial happened all over the world, including here in San Diego, where 2,000 locals participated. We're part of a bigger solution and uh, stopping this pandemic. National City Mayor Alexandria Sotelo Solis was one of those who took part in the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine trial. She leads the hardest hit city in the county where about 10% of the population has tested positive. If they get the thumbs up, which we're hoping for, uh, this will be another option for our community. After her final exam last Friday, Johnson & Johnson executives began preparing for FDA approval. Dr. Anthony Fauci says that process should begin soon. You'll be hearing about likely within the next few days to a week are the results from the Janssen J&J trial. The vaccine has several advantages. It's a single dose shot that requires a normal refrigerator, not a freezer or ultra cold storage. That potentially means faster delivery of the 100 million doses it expects to provide by the end of June. Plus, it was trialed in other countries, including South Africa. We'll let the data speak for itself, but what we will see was the relative efficacy against the wild type virus that is predominantly in the United States, as well as the South African uh, isolate. Doses should start rolling out soon after getting FDA approval. Our area could get a leg up because UC San Diego was an early partner in the trial process, and it especially could help National City's 600,000 residents. In order to reach herd immunity in our community, it's 48,000 people that have to be vaccinated. So that's not only a lot of people, but you have to have various locations, you have to have various options. The FDA approval process could take several days or weeks, depending on how much data the FDA has to review and how long it takes them to do so. Just how many doses California and the San Diego region could receive and how many is still undetermined because we are just beginning this process.